We're going to launch the Canada United States Council for Advancement of Women Entrepreneurs, of which we have some of the great ones in this room, and business leaders. It was almost a year ago that that announcement from the U.S. president had some people wondering about follow-through. Well, now it's delivered. A set of recommendations, and women are front and center. Among their suggestions, lowering the cost of childcare, expanding networking opportunities for women, and encouraging both public and private sectors to award more contracts to female entrepreneurs. I spoke today with two members of the council, both women business executives, about the need for Canadian and American governments to adopt the recommendations. Just a month after taking office, President Trump sat across a table from Prime Minister Trudeau as each declared their commitment to helping women in the business world. Uh, whenever I sit down with a woman executive, I know uh, that she has had to overcome significant barriers. We must ensure that our economy is a place where women can work and thrive. Trudeau, a self-declared feminist with a gender-balanced cabinet, had shown interest in the subject before. Trump's came as a bit of a surprise. Uh, I'll tell you, the 10 women took it very seriously. But as it turns out, the council was not just for show. In fact, Canada may have lessons to learn from the U.S. when it comes to giving women a boost. Take, for instance, government spending. The U.S. targets women-owned businesses. In the United States, where... The federal government pays, basically allocates about 5% of their spending towards women-owned programs. And guess what? In Canada, women represent only 7% of companies that have 100 to 500 uh, employees. In the United States, it's 14%. So I think this concept of, wow, how can we also help uh, women-owned businesses uh, and diversity in our supplier program, it all helps um, bring more people into the economy. As we think about how we level the playing field for... If Canada is listening to the ideas, turns out the U.S. president might be too. His daughter Ivanka, a senior advisor and entrepreneur herself, participated in the council's work regularly. Yes means yes and no means no! What the group did not expect is how a budding social movement, Me Too, would reinforce one of their key findings, that women entrepreneurs sometimes avoid meetings for fear it could be perceived as a sexual encounter. We really need to ensure that there is a way to build trust. And we have to be careful about, um, we have to make sure that as we go forward, we create opportunities for men and women to continue to work together and build these trusting relationships. The council says this is just a start. There'll be a series of other reports to improve the chances of women in the business world. The council reports directly to the Prime Minister and the President.